You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. As some of you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace. Today we are doing Case Case Path, and then after that we'll be doing June's Path. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you were up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> okay. No, of course not. What reason would I even have to be mad at you? I'm just mad in general. And call me a hypocrite all you want, but I wanted to shield you from the absolute shit show that my family life is becoming. Becoming? Wasn't a shit show already? You really don't know a thing about tact, do you? Not that you're wrong. It's just, can we talk at your place? And hopefully after you take a shower. Okay, okay, I get it. I'll take a shower if it's so important to you. No, you don't get it. You really don't get it. Why are you complaining so much about it? I have a better, I have a better, I have a way better nose than you do, and I think I smell fine. Sure, a bit right, but definitely not that bad. Ugh, fussy rabbits. Do you promise you'll actually talk to me, not just sulk and deflect? Yes, yes, I'll talk. No point trying to keep my mouth shut. You'll continue to nag me until I crack anyway. Isn't that a lovely way to put it? So romantic. And I'm the one without tact. And you're sure you won't be missed at home or anything? No one's gonna show up at my door and, like, accuse me of kidnapping you or something? No, you're just- now you're just being paranoid. Am I? Are we going to ignore the time your butler put a friggin' tracking chip in your phone like some sort of spy movie? What guarantee do I have that we're not even being watched this exact moment? Boy, these questions really aren't good for my sanity. I was only 70% serious, but now I really am starting to worry. Sometime later. Ah, that feels much better. It takes so long to get my fur fully dried once I've taken a bath. Maybe it's about time for me to get a, to get a trim. When was my last one? When was my last one even? Ah, I don't remember having one this year. Yikes, that's not good. No wonder I've been feeling so hot lately. Oh, aren't you a little bit too un too undressed to be around people? I have point. I have pants on. It's fine. KSK sat by the edge of the, my bed, leisurely reading one of the few books I had in my room, a random fantasy novel I had recommended to me by June of all people. A little part of me is still surprised that he enjoys reading of all things, but I wouldn't have the heart to say that to his face. He already got really mad at me the first time when I acted surprised about it. This coming from the guy that freaks out whenever he has to take his clothes off in front of other people. I'm not in front of other people, I'm in front of you! Aw, that is also, that is almost sweet. Besides, like I said, the only thing I don't have on is a shirt. I'm fine with at least this much. That's fair. Any progress is good. I guess you could say that. I slowly walk up to the bed, sitting just a little bit away from Keisuke, close enough that her knees would touch, but far enough that nothing else did. It's a safe distance to be at. So, family problems, huh? Hmm, yeah, something like that. After a few seconds considering it, I put a hand on top of Keikun's knee, trying to at least seem a bit encouraging, or be a little encouraging. Seem to be a little encouraging? God, this is hard. <laughs> Before we get into this, though, let the record show that I tried to avoid getting you involved in this whole debacle. The record? Like we're in a trial or something? I know I would if I had my way. What? Is it something that serious? Do you remember that account I told you I had? The one I kept hidden from my family and used to store all my allowances for the past few years? The one that you could buy and that could buy an island? Sure. Can't even sleep thinking about it. Second y'all. Water time. You could just have said yes. Yes. Anyway. Well, my family found out about it. More specifically, Kuroda, the attendant I had made responsible for everything relating to the account, told them. And he didn't just tell. Since I needed to sign him as the adult responsible for supervising my account, I was as I was a minor when I opened it, he had full access. He sold me out for a better position with my grandmother's faction. Collected information over the years on most of my movements, then took all the money before I could put the account under my sole discretion as an adult and gave it to her. He what? Yes. He betrayed me and defected to Grandmother's faction. Maybe he lost faith in me after he realized I truly had no intention of taking over the company. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't see it coming. I mean, all you have to do is think about... All you have to, all you have to think, do is think about... What future is there for him and others like him? Continue serving a boss that antagonizes the other factions before fully withdrawing. That would leave him completely vulnerable without a backer in the company. Or maybe he planned this from the start and had no intention of aligning with me at all. Either way, I made a mistake of trusting him. Now I lost my trump card. I planned on using that money to secure my independence as soon as I turned 18. That way I could move away and be done with the Urushihara Corporation for good. 
had enough saved up that I could live the rest of my life on it. Heisuke, I don't even know what to say. I mean, crap, what can I even say? What does someone say to someone else in this kind of situation? This whole thing is just so absurd. There's no way I can come up with an answer. I'll be fine. Honestly, I was more i was more worried about you. What? Wait, what? About me? How do I even fit into this story? Kuroda knew about us. And now so does my family. Eh? Did he just... Huh? You're not serious. I'm afraid I am. She was very smug when letting me know about it. Worst yet, she talked about how this was a great opportunity to sign you with us. Like, like a relationship is just kind of a business decision. I can't do that to you, Yuichi. I don't want you to be taken advantage of... I can't advantage of all because my life is a mess. What? What is... What does that even mean? I was considering just maybe that it'd be better if we were to... To... To break up. His words, barely louder than a whisper, still echoed inside my ears like some kind of deafening scream. My chest tightened right away. My mouth and throat felt drier than they ever did before. All of a sudden, I swear I could hear the blood flowing loudly inside my ears. It was almost like being ripped away from my own body for a second, getting hit by a bag of bricks all of a sudden. I didn't even think how hard the possibility could hit me until I realized it was an actual possibility. So did, did the, the whole time at lunch when Keisuke was avoiding talking to me much, was he thinking about that the whole time? Please say you're kidding. You have to be. It's not like, it's not like I want to. Of course I don't want to, but is it fair for me? Is it? But is it fair for me to only think about what I want? This could have been the. This could have the potential to screw up your life real bad. I don't even want to think about what they could do. They'd never hurt you, but they wouldn't hesitate to use you for a profit either. It wouldn't be fair to do that to you. Believe me, I tried to think of a dozen different ways to justify it. It, it just can't be justified. Holy shit! He's actually serious. I don't. What's even happening here? Out of everything that could be going on, I never expected. This? Is this some kind of cruel prank? It's... it's gotta be, right? Keisuke seemed to be so into me. Why, why would he say something like that? No. What? No! Hell no! Absolutely not! Well, Yuichi! Before I even realize what I'm doing, my fist flies through the air, landing score. What the f... Oh my god, you punched him? Before I ever realize what I'm doing, my fist flies through the air, landing squarely on Keisuke's jaw and causing him to fall backwards. He helps, rubbing his jaw at the exact spot where I hit, a drip of blood going out of his mouth. What? What are you doing? Are you out of your mind? Shut up! My outburst must have been so unexpected and out of character that Keisuke merely lies all there on the bed, staring at me slack-jawed. Uh-oh. This was not the direction I expected it to go. I know I shouldn't feel, feel angry right now. In the back of my mind, I know it was unforgivable for me to hit him. But I just... I... Don't you dare talk about what's best of me if, if I weren't involved. That's not your decision to make. You... You moron. You have no idea what my family is like. You have no idea what they could do. They'd find a way to exploit you in our relationship for sure. Of course I don't want that to happen. You're not the one who gets to decide that, Keisuke. But... I'm a goddamn adult. I'm your senior. I'm not some goddamn damsel that needs to be protected. Stop trying to make all the decisions yourself. I'm more than capable of deciding for myself what risks I want to take. But that's not fair to you. You shouldn't have to run any risks. And you breaking up with me without leaving me a chance to protest is fair? At those words, Keisuke falls silent. He adjusts himself back on the bed, sitting upright once more and scooting a bit closer to me. With his eyes still to the floor, he whispers something I am barely able to understand. I just couldn't handle if you ended up hurt because of me. I know, you're way too kind for your own good. That's part of the reason I like you. <laughs> you say that like it's no big deal. Honestly, yeah. I'm just as surprised as you are. We haven't been dating for long, and I never thought well, thought I would one day date a man before. Yet, here I am, getting pissed off and panicked at the idea of us breaking up. How did this even happen? How's your face, by the way? Hurts like a bitch, but thanks for asking. S sorry. I feel something soft playing, being placed atop my knee. When I look down, I realize that Keisuke slowly slid his hand down, resting it on top of my knee. Without even thinking about it, I put my hand on top of his. The hair immediately turns his hand around, placing his palm turned up and intertwining his fingers with mine, squeezing my hand tightly in his. It's quite alright. You're probably not the first person to want to punch me in the face. Just the first one that actually did it. <laughs> it's a good thing Alan Alex wasn't here. I'd be flying across the room right now if he were. Maybe not. I think after what I said, he might just end up giving that one to you as a freebie. Keisuke and I share a quick laugh. It isn't enough to dispel the tense mood completely, but the atmosphere around us brightens up to the point I'm no longer being suffocating. Huh. 
This really sucks. I can imagine. I reach, with, I reach with my other hand, gently squeezing Case Case's fingers, pulling on them and playing around with them as I do so. It's not often that I get the chance to play around like this. It's reassuring. To know that he's still here. I think Alex is going to leave me too, you know. What? No way. That guy loves you like crazy. There is no good reason for him to stick around. Alex is the rational type. He doesn't make decisions just on feelings like that. If he continued aligning with me, he'd hurt his chances at the company. Maybe even lose his job. No one would be crazy enough to make that choice. I think you're giving him too little credit here. He couldn't even look me in the eye after what happened. He quickly said goodnight to me and left them and left back to his apartment. What? That doesn't sound like him at all. <laughs> it's alright. When you live in the kind of environment that I do, it's just to be expected. People use you just as much as you use them. I guess that's what life is like for the uber-rich corporate types like my family. That's heartbreaking! It's been my life for almost as long as I can remember. I'm used to it. Doesn't that doesn't mean you have to like it. I never said that I did. Keisuke leans against me, touching his shoulder to mine. When he looks down and sees both of our hands locked together, his smile widens just a little bit more. Sorry, it was insensitive of me to suggest we break up. Would you have actually followed through with that? It's hard to say. My head is a total mess right now. I need some way to calm down and clear my mind. But there's no way I'm getting any peace at the moment. Now more than ever. Then why don't you stay here? Huh? Yeah, spend the night. I hardly think it's appropriate for you to be inviting me like that without even discussing it with your family. My mom doesn't care. Shuichi used to stay over all the time and we hardly ever had to ask for permission. She knows Aki and I were forced to grow up and fend for ourselves pretty pretty often since she needed to work needed work to work to support us. She trusts me. Second y'all, water time. Hmm. I guess being a fool runs in the family. Hey! I'm joking, of course. Well, not about the part about you being a fool, but you're also really sweet. I appreciate it. Do you think your family would let you? That is hard to say. I might as well ask. With how gleeful grandmother was about you and you and me fostering good relations, she might jump at the opportunity. Yeesh, I just had a huge chill run down all the way my run all the way down my spine and then some. That's a creepy as hell thing to hear out of your boyfriend's mouth. Can I go outside for a bit? I'm sorry, but I'd really rather you and your family didn't listen to me on the listen to me on the phone. It's okay. Gives me a chance to put on a shirt and check if anyone else got home recently. I think I heard some movement downstairs about half an hour ago, yes. Great, I'll get dressed in hand, then I'll go check. It's probably Aki, and I need to make dinner. Okay, I'll be right back. He quickly walks out of the room, closing the door gently behind him. I quickly notice that, unlike Aki, Keisuke tends to walk very softly everywhere he goes. I can barely hear the sound of his footsteps when he's nearby. As soon as the door is closed, though, it's like he's not even here. Okay, then, time to put on a shirt. It's pretty warm still, and I'd rather not, but Aki tends to bitch around tends to bitch around if I walk around the house without any clothes. The only place that I'm comfortable not being fully dressed in, and I'm not even allowed to do it, figures. Still, it's so Keisuke was going to break up with me, huh? I feel like I managed to escape a terrible, a terrible bad end by the skin of my teeth. From now on, I'll need to keep a close eye on Keisuke's mood and reactions. I can't risk something like this happening again the very next time something bad happens. And knowing how stubborn he is, I wouldn't doubt it happening for even a second. I'm sure he'd rather push me away than admit he needs help. I can't allow him to suffer alone just because of stupid pride. I absolutely won't let someone so dear to me go through that. Hmm, maybe... Maybe I should cook something Keisuke might like tonight. Even if he doesn't get permission to spend the night, he should at least be able to have dinner with us. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. I think I'm gonna make some curry. Heading downstairs, I quickly scan the living room for any signs of other people. I see Aki sitting by the couch with his legs crossed, watching something on his phone. Really our home. Welcome back. Aniki! Yeah, I got home almost an hour ago. Keisuke-san just passed by and said you were coming downstairs. I know, I offered to let him spend the night since things aren't too great at his place right now. He's probably on the phone, checking if he's even allowed to. Ah, that sounds pretty bad. It's a good thing you offered then. For sure. And by the way, I'm making curry for dinner tonight. I figured that Keisuke is going to eat with us regardless of whether they let him spend the night or not, so I might as well make something to cheer him up. That's cool with me. I'm fine with curry. Oh, I bought some chocolate on my way home today. You think you could put some in the curry? I was just going to eat a few pieces of a day for the rest of the week, but it'd be fine if you used it too. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Thanks, Aki. No problem. If there's anything I can do to help either to help cheer up Keisuke-san, I'm all for it. He's always so nice to me. Huh, I wonder how Keisuke would feel knowing that he's so well-liked. Probably look for a million different reasons to deflect. What are you watching, by the way? Looks like a video. This? Oh, I asked a friend to record a match that my rival in the club played. 
I'm setting it before we have a we have, before we have a practice match next week. Really? My my, look at you being all serious. Are you mocking me? Not at all. I'm proud. Tell you what, I'll make some extra curry tonight so you can eat your fill. Really? Yay! You're the best. <laughs> now I'm the best. What about all the other times you called me a pain in the ass just last week? Whatever. I'll take the win while I can. Let's see. It shouldn't take too long to make this. I don't mean to flatter myself. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, bring that notification bell. Leave a super, uh, super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.